Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 55 of Eagle News. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Happy National Christmas Card Day. My name is Mia. And my name is Rihanna. Before we head to today's headlines, let's go to Eagle News Weather Report Station with Gabby to look at today's weather. Thanks, Mia. Today in Powell, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 27. There will only be a 9% chance of rain, but there will be some wind. It's getting cold now that it's December, so remember your winter coats. Now let's go back to the newsroom with Mia and Rihanna for today's headlines. Wow, it's really getting co cooler outside. Put on your winter coats, hats, and gloves. We have a lot of headlines for today. Eagles, if you are interested in podcasting, check out the NPR Podcast Challenge. You can submit a three to eight minute segment about any topic. Check out Mrs. Wolf's school G page for more info. Also, also <laughs> this holiday season, there is a winter reading challenge at the Columbus Library. It is open to ages kindergarten through 12th grade. and they will mail your completion prizes. What? Check out the link and flyer on I Mrs. Wolf's school for it further it information. Online. If you are interested, also, the flip the okay. writing the flip the page writing competition is not accepting submissions. You can find more info about th that on Miss Wolf's Schoology page as well. In addition, there is a new Eagles podcast question of the week on Schoology. The question is, what is your favorite holiday movie? Make sure to answer only once and tune in into the podcast on Friday to hear the results. Hey Mia. Yeah? Why do mummies like giving gifts so much? I don't know why. Because they love the wrapping. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good one, Rihanna. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of holiday, holidays, winter break is finally coming. We only have 11 days left, Eagles. Keep working hard. For our first video today, we're taking a look at the Netflix show Julie and the Phantoms. Let's check it out. For Porn for Eagle News. Did you know a new music comedy series is coming out September 10th on Netflix called Judith in the Phantoms? Created by Kenny Ortega, he was a famous Hollywood director known for choreographing the Descendants movie. The show focuses on Julia, a musical talented teenager whose mother's death had left her sad and unable to perform when the ghost of three members of a mid-age 1990s boy band appears to help julia love music again the friends even form a group together julia is played by a 16 year old actress madison ray and this is her first professional acting role she had told the Weekly Journal that she is a lot like her character, and they both are very passionate about music and are willing to do anything for their friends. Each episode features at least one original song. Ray said that the lyrics have a message to bring joy to viewers. Madison Ray says that knowing the song I am singing may be the word someone is looking for is what made me sing with so much passion. She hopes when viewers are done watching the series, they will still listen to her music for a little pick-me-up. That looks like a great show. It really is. Now let's go to Mr. Meadows' favorite part of the day. The lunch, the lunch joke. joke. Hey, Rihanna, when do astronauts eat lunch? I don't know. When? At lunch, at lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. I love these lunch jokes. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Mia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Trivia at Eagle News. Let's take a look at yesterday's winner. <laughs> that some people just can't figure out how to work. Again, name a device that some people just can't figure out how to work. You can send in up to five answers. Make Check out what Mr. Meta found out on the internet last night. It's quite something.
interesting stuff, Mr. Meta. For our live sec segment today, we are heading to visit Mr. Bob. Let's see Who's what the it? Eagle News remote staff for today has with our special guest. Hey you guys, welcome to today's remote shot. I am Levi and I am with Addie and Mr. Bob. And um, today Addie will be asking Mr. Bob a few questions, getting to uh, know more about him and his group a little bit more. And I will be doing a fun mini game with him at the end. Enjoy guys. All right, Mr. Bob, can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do over on this end of the building? Yeah, we've got um, in the SLC, we've got uh, sixth, seventh and eighth graders. And we do everything from academics to life skills. And uh, we have fun in the gym and, and just a lot of different fun programs. Sounds like a lot of fun down here. All right, I'm going to pass the mic over to Levi. And he's going to ask Mr. Bob a fun question to see how many answers he can get in 10 seconds. All right, guys, welcome to today's mini game. Today's question, I already told him, I probably spoiled it a little, is how many animals can you name in 10 seconds that growls? Again, how many animals that growl you can name in 10 seconds? Mr. Bob? Okay, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. And dogs, uh, wolves, uh, raccoons, um, bears. Good job. I don't know how much, how many of that was at last count, but that sure was a lot. Nice job, Mr. Bob. All right. You, we had a lot of fun down here with Mr. Bob today. We hope you enjoyed this segment. I'm Addie. I'm Mr. Bob. And I'm Levi. Send it back to the newsroom. Bye-bye. Bye. For our final video segment, we are going to see all the 8th grade Eagles that were awarded with Citizen of the Month. Let's see who they are. Team 802 is proud to announce Jeffrey Cracked as our November Citizen of the Month. From day one, Jeffrey has stood out to his teachers with his participation and effort in all of our classes. He has not let his mask stop him from showing us what he knows. He is someone that we can turn to when the rest of the class is sitting quietly, not wanting to participate in discussions. What has stood out to us even more was his ability to keep up with his schoolwork when he was out for a few weeks. He took ownership of his learning and reached out to all of his teachers and stayed on top of all of his assignments. When he was back in school, it was like he did not even skip a beat. He was immediately involved in the class discussions and able to take his assessments without any problems. We are so glad to have Jeffrey on Team 802 and look forward to a great school year. lucky to have many outstanding students this year and sometimes it can be a challenge for teachers to select just one student each month to recognize. However, this month the decision was easy. Luke's teachers unanimously agreed that Luke was the best candidate for November's Citizen of the Month. Luke Rapaski exhibits many qualities that are admirable. This year presents many unique challenges for students. Masks, desk shields, hybrid schedule, just to name a few. Luke does not let these challenges impact his desire to learn and participate in class. He is quick to participate in class and volunteers answers, even, as he, even if he is not sure that they are right. Many students are fearful of what their peers may think of them and they let this fear prevent them from engaging in learning. But Luke takes advantage of each day he is in school and truly advocates for his learning by asking questions, seeking clarification, and engaging in class discussions. In addition to being a great student, Luke is also an excellent role model for his peers because of his kindness. He is a student who will work well with anyone, whether they are a close friend or not. His genuine kindness does not go unnoticed, and he is a great example for his peers. Congratulations, Luke. We know you will do great things in life. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, Citizens of the Month. Keep up the good work, 8th graders. That's all we have for today's news, but before we go, we want to share with you the quote of the day. When you look in the mirror, you have to see yourself as you are and what, as you want to be. Wow, that's really inspirational. My name is Mia. My name is Rihanna. <laughs> My name is Virginia. <laughs> My name is Gabby. Don't forget to watch tomorrow's news 
on our YouTube channel, Hyatt's Eagles News. Hyatt's Eagle News. And remember to wear your hats and coats so you can be cool like us. Enjoy the rest <laughs> of your Wednesday, Eagles. Bye! Bye.